what is a history fact that isn't actually correct that women traditionally were sam saw that has only been a flex of the royals upper class wealthy middle and lower class aka common women actually worked to help earn a living for their families marie antoinette didn't say let them eat cake Catherine the Great did not die when the horse she was seeing collapsed on her when it came. George Washington was actually a notorious liar. The I cannot tell a lie tree story was supposed to be irony satire. George Washington chopping down a cherry tree. America's revolt against Britain was a popular event that was backed by the majority of the population, and the atrocities of the war were British caused in the main. Where do I start? Crusades were a clash of civilization. Empires generate wealth. European colonial slavery was some new invention the world had never seen. Europeans invented are some common tropes narratives. The American Civil War was about slavery. States listed slavery and the government trying stop it as a reason to leave the Union. The fact that it has morphed to states' rights and heritage is a blatant rewriting whitewashing of history that there was an insurrection on Jan 6. We're gonna make some popcorn. What's the weirdest food combination you love, but everyone else finds gross? Okay, hear me out Doritos dipped in cream cheese. It's like a party in my mouth, and my taste buds are the VIP guests. Peanut butter and pickle sandwiches kosher dills. Mashed banana mixed with bread torn in pieces. Ketchup on mac and cheese. Pizza with pineapple. Cashew nuts on pizza. I like to put scalloped potatoes in a tortilla with ranch dressing. Mashed potatoes mixed with apple sauce. Fried eggs on white rice with ketchup. Yum. Chili and peanut butter. It disgusts my parents, my fiancé, my brothers, but it's amazing. Not me, but a friend recently said her favorite thing was to eat really good licorice and drink orange juice with it. Cottage cheese and applesauce. Peanut butter and hot dog. Put the peanut butter on the bun, then when the hot hot dog goes on it, it will melt the peanut butter. It's so good. Orange juice with brownies. I grew up eating liverwurst and pickled beet sandwiches on wedge-shaped slices of Finnish rye bread. Never thought about, until a friend freaked out when I unpacked my lunch at a drum corps rehearsal. A sandwich with mustard cheese, pickles, and chips. The chips can be any flavor. I just like the crunch. There is one person alive that looks the most similar to the first human ever. And that person is us representative from Georgia. Adam from accounting. There is at least one person alive that looks the most similar to pick anything, a nail clipper. There has to be. There was never the first human ever. Like there was no first bird or first mammal. There were stages and spectrums even now we keep evolving and changing. Not most similar ever. Surely this first person's sibling or child looked more similar than someone alive now. What if that person is a twin? There's one person alive that looks most similar to Elvis, Mother Teresa, Einstein, Big Bird, whoever. There is no such thing as the first human ever. We don't just spawn on the planet like Minecraft characters. We slowly evolved into humans. It's at least two people, as everyone has a doppelganger, according to the Bible. False. There was no first human ever. There isn't one first ever human. Evolution works on populations, not individuals. Why are you talking about your own mom like that? The Apple Vision Pro has seemingly disappeared after a week of being everywhere online. It has no long-term content appeal. It's an expensive for headset that can't play games, no content to be made. It's a dev kit just like Oculus started with their dev kits years ago. Apple has a few versions to go before its alleged consumer product. In meantime, you'll see Meta and Samsung, etc. bring out more advanced versions as well. I think in five years it will be start getting traction, more support for it continues. Almost like no sane person would buy it. 
the show-offs probably realized it had no practical purpose outside the house. That's how trends work. Normal people don't spend $3,500 on bullshit. It came out. Influencers tested it. They sold a fair amount. What did you expect? Everyone walking around with an AF continue releasing content and come out with a cheaper version. They'll continue finding use cases for it. Apple Watch and AirPods weren't that popular of a product when they first came out. Yeah, the influencers stopped getting paid to use them. Uh, unless there's a good Vermo, I'd much prefer our prescription glasses than a headset. A lot of people returned refunded after two weeks. All that for TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat views. What would instantly destroy your life just by doing it once? I have a huge fear of accidentally hitting someone with my car at night. Road rage. Guy I went to middle school with jumped out of his car and beat a guy he was road raging with so badly that he was partially paralyzed by the end of it. Guy was 19 and got a 45-year prison sentence. Completely fucked his whole life up, never seen a happy crackhead, and I hear it only takes once. Negligent homicide. I'm sure self-defense killings are not as difficult to handle as it is justified not saying everyone would be fine. But negligent homicide is another level. You drive drunk text while driving, or not pay attention, and smack into a pedestrian, you're going to live in a nightmare. Unprotected sex in some cases. Eating 290 tons of gravel. Eating polar bear liver. Probably committing a felony. Because getting a job would be hard, renting would be hard. I fear one cigarette would make me a smoker again. Jumping on an active anti-personnel landmine. Shagging my ex. Heroin. Heroin. Do men feel it when they ejaculate in their sleep? Still never happened to me I go sicko mode on my. Meat too much, I guess. I remember as a kid flying over a waterfall and peeing over it. So nope, not always sexual. Yeah, sometimes it is linked to a dream, sometimes it just happens. It used to be pretty good too, as your body is completely relaxed when it happens. Now it isn't worth the mess emo. Of course, it's also very frustrating knowing you have to go take a shower immediately. Most of the time, if I ejaculate in my sleep, I'm having sex in my dreams, so it does feel good. But I would rather do it when I'm up. Feels better and less mess. It corresponds with whatever you're dreaming about, and you definitely feel it. But the truth of what is actually happening only makes sense in retrospect. I've only had it happen once, and yeah, I felt it. It was a very odd and unwelcome feeling. It happened in a dream, but it wasn't a sex dream. Just sitting on a bus. Yes, and always at the worst times imaginable. I have literally never had this happen. I thought it was a joke. Normally, when it happens for me, it's because I have not masturbated and have some sort of spicy dream. And yes, I can feel it when it happens, and it sucks. It's crazy to think the Colosseum isn't even one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. The original seven wonders of the world list was made hundreds of years before the Colosseum was built. The Colosseum hadn't been built yet when the original list was made in 100 for Greek tourists as interesting things to see in the lands conquered by Alexander the Great. Is it because it's relatively new compared to the rest? Same thing with the Great Wall of China, I think. The list of the seven wonders of the ancient world was already well established before the Colosseum was built. It was built during the first centuries. Everything else is much older. If I recall correctly, there are 28 or 35 seven wonders of the world. There are different sets of sevens. And the Colosseum actually is in one of the sets, just not the ancient we can all agree the most spectacular wonder is seven of nine as portrayed by jerry ryan to be fair if you limit it to seven you're going to leave some amazing structures out regardless of the era it is part of the seven wonders of the modern world 
Well, yea, there's a reason the A's and Raiders wanted to move S. You like it so much, but you can't even spell it correctly. What technology did 10-year-old you think would already exist by now? Flying cars. I thought they would get rid of that time lag when the news anchor talks to the field reporter. Spaceships. I figured by now we'd be regularly traveling to Mars or something. Self-driving cars. When I was maybe like 13, I thought that I would never have to get a license, because by the time I am 18, all cars will drive themselves. Now fast forward, I am 31 and still drive a car with stick. Technology doesn't progress as fast as I though as a kid. Food pills. Vehicles that operate with water being the fuel. Marty McFly's mom's magical pizza read rater machine. Serb. Also the hoverboard. Serb. Pretty much back to the future too. A pill that makes you shit out all your fat cells over one really bad weekend. Cure for cancer. End to hunger. Non-fossil fuels being the dominant form of energy in nuclear, solar, laser weapons. Recycling would save the planet. Or that more access to true information would inherently make humans act better. Teleportation. I saw movies back then and literally thought they existed but weren't public yet. Yet. How to change my mind on how I see women. Stop watching porn. Are you a virgin? Typically it's people that have never experienced something that tend to elevate it to ridiculous proportions. Even if you're not a virgin, sexual frustration can cause it. But in the end you just need to actively focus on not doing it whenever you catch yourself doing it. Just train it out of yourself. Hang out with female friends more often. Familiarity breeds. This will go away only with a lot of exposure and interaction. Until then it will be quite traumatic. Which country are you in? Does it have beaches where women wear bikinis? Do you have woman friends who wear them? Spending enough time around them is the only way to desensitize yourself. I suspect that this is a common side effect of long-term porn use for many men. First, I'd like to ask what do you see when you see another man? Stop watching porn. Really? You should see a therapist. This is seriously concerning behavior and not something we are really equipped to help you with. I would suggest in the meantime you try to stop using language, justifying the behavior, like a problem a lot of males have and programmed to do this. As a guy, how am I supposed to know if I'm just too unattractive physically to attract anyone? The matchmaker test from the office ask a friend who they would set you up with and ask yourself if you find that person attractive or not. That's a good test of how attractive your friend thinks you are. If babies run away in tears when they see you, how girls perceive you? If you feel like they're nicer towards you than they are to others, you're good. Also, if your emotional intelligence isn't the highest to pick up cues like that you can always ask some gay guys and they'll tell you the absolute truth, start asking some out. You'll probably get shot down a lot like most guys. Nothing else to be done. I'm fucking ugly. You just know. Just like attractive guys knows, but for the opposite reasons. Also mirrors exist. So you don't know that's a good thing. You're probably average or something. You're not ugly for sure. Have you shown interest in any or not proactive at showing interest? Well, buddy, I hate to say it, but the fact that no woman has made herself, when you're a certain level of attractive, they will basically do all the work for you. Lol. If you have to ask, you don't realize how little you actually know about someone till you have to buy them a birthday present. Office Secret Santa Flashbacks I just tell everyone not to get me any gifts for my birthday. I really don't want any cards either. I gave someone a birthday gift for the first time recently. He doesn't really have any hobbies, but I know he usually gets gifts associated with his favorite football team or related to his work. I got him something totally unique and personalized, and he said multiple times to me and others 
that it is the best gift he has ever received. You don't keep lists of everything your friends mention enjoying. All my friends are potheads, so I just buy them weed. But we don't buy each other presents. There's a pretty good episode of No Stupid Questions on how hard it can be to give gift. I, I'm still friends with my ex, but it makes me sad realizing I don't really know what to get him for birthday Christmas any more a few years after he moved away. I just don't interact with him enough to get the little cues of what he needs wants, and now that he's interacting with a new set of people he's probably got new interests and involvements I don't know about. On the contrary, if you feel obligated to get someone a birthday present, present, Vapes are still rarely seen in movies, only cigarettes. Cigarettes are cool, vapes are lame. That said, I've seen plenty of vaping in media lately. Considering kids nowadays don't see cigarettes as cool, that's probably a good thing. Seems vaguely relevant. Kiki Palmer's character was vaping a lot in Nope. There was a line in True Detective, too, that killed the vapes on the screen for me. It was something like, you look like you're sucking Poe's dick. Awful show outside of that line, though. Please keep it that way. I don't want to see my protagonist ripping a douche flute. Because vapes are lame. Because people look fucking stupid vapping. I just saw it, and it kinda took me aback a rarity. They're starting to pop up more now. If they are, it's never the main character doing it. In the new show, the gentleman, the brother of the main character, constantly has a vape. Definitely noticed it as an oddity for most shows and movies. Vapes are lame -uff. Like the one thing smoking had going for it was that it was undeniably who vape look ridiculous, like old steam engines blowing clouds of steam as they walk around. Pretty sure Gator vapes in the latest season of Fargo. Of course, I'm pretty sure. It was done in part to really drive in the fact that he's a total tool. tool. tool.